happy Friday, you guys. Holy heck. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. It is Friday. <laughs> um, so I am scrambling like a crazy lady today. So um, clearly driving in my car, I'm heading into work. And, um, but I'm paying attention to the road. Wanted to share something with you guys though on just how my morning has been so far because I know that there's probably so many other hashtag hot mess busy working mamas who are kind of feeling the same way. So got up this morning and I'm, tr I'm doing much better with getting into my normal routine of getting up early in the morning, going through my, my morning routine of, of reading a little bit and getting my workout in and getting some work done before having to like get myself cutied up to go into the office today. And I caught myself getting wrapped up in 50 other different things this morning and I looked at my clock and I'm like, shit, I'm running late. <laughs> I'm always late. Morning, Adrian. I'm always flipping late no matter how much I try and like plan ahead or have every intention of, of being on time, getting my life together. It never fails. I'm always, I'm always late. Something I'm working on this year. Um, but I got up in the kitchen and getting ready to like grab my laptop bag and my purse and all my stuff to head into the office today. And even though I was up at 4.30, I didn't have any breakfast. So my tummy is just growling and yelling at me. And um, normally this is when I have a shake in the morning, but I'm scrambling, I'm running around like, I gotta go, I gotta go. And it's like stuff, it takes 30 seconds. Make a damn shake. Just make a shake, grab it, take it in the car and go. And I was tempted, you guys, like we had Jeremy made this amazing pound cake with like, sweet icing drizzle that was sitting like keeping warm in the microwave that was just calling my name and we had muffins and like the cliff bars and the cabinets could have been a quick and easy like go to but I knew that a the sweets were not gonna help me this morning because that would spiral into a ton of other problems this morning with making a bunch of other bad decisions so I sucked it up I spent 30 seconds I made my shake and just before jumping in here with you guys, started chugging a little bit of it. <laughs> so I still have more to, more to go. But I wanted to share that with you guys because it really made me sit back. Like the old me, four years ago, was the person that was like, okay, I'm running late, I've gotta get my kids' lunches together, I've gotta get them dressed and up and fed and them out the door. And the days when I had to drop them off at daycare, it was like the morning scramble was just intensified and I was literally frazzled before 8 a.m. every single day. Like I wanted, I wanted five glasses of wine by noon and that was how I started every morning. And so it used to be really easy to like on my way to and from the office to like stop and grab that breakfast sandwich and my fourth cup of coffee for the morning. Or like, and that would just, A, make, would make me feel better because come nine o'clock I'd be hungry again. But Another goal that I have this year is like, we're trying to be so smart with our money. And I never realized how much I spent, like on mornings like this where I'm running late, to like swing by a Tim Hortons or a Dunkin' Donuts or a McDonald's and grab a breakfast combo and a cup of coffee and easily drop like six bucks, five, six bucks on something like that. And so um, it really, like I hear all the time from people about like, oh well, you know, I, I don't want to get hooked on Shakeology or I don't want to spend that kind of money for something like this. And then in mornings like this where everyone's kind of crazy, it's like you start at the beginning of the year and said, I want to get healthy. I want to get fit. I want to, I want to be a better version of me than what I was last year. I want to change some of my bad habits, but yet some people aren't willing to change their daily routine and they're not willing to make an investment in themselves. And y'all believe me, like I was that person that was like, I'm not spending that kind of money every month. But y'all, you know, when I sat down and I, we looked at our budget, like especially when Jeremy was laid off on how much I was spending on Tim Hortons every single day, Monday through Friday, driving on my way into work after, after dropping off the kids. And y'all know I'm an emotional eater. So I got like a breakfast sandwich combo with the hash browns because they're amazing and a donut because who doesn't like 
fresh warm donuts in the morning and a third cup of coffee. Y'all, I was spending six bucks every single day. Do you know how much that adds up at the end of the month? Like I sat down and was like, I could have gotten a really, really nice pair of shoes or a really sweet handbag. <laughs> that new like Michael Kors bag I've been eyeballing and don't wanna buy because it's too damn expensive. I could have bought it with my breakfast every morning if I would have just saved my money. And so that's ultimately why I made the switch because for me spending before I before I became a coach spending four dollars a day on something that took me 30 seconds to mix up and it was giving me my nutrition for the day I was getting my healthiest meal first thing in the morning I could grab it and go and what it did was it changed my mindset of making other bad choices during the day because I wasn't craving the Diet Coke and Snickers at 2.30 in the afternoon. And because I already made one good decision for myself, you know, mamas were so busy trying to take care of everybody else, right? Because I made one really, really good decision for me that was gonna help me get healthy, to help me get fit, to give my body that nutrition it means so I can function during my nine to five hustle every day, my eight to five hustle. That makes you want to do more good things. So I made better decisions for lunch. I would go and get water instead of Diet Coke. Um, I skipped out, like I said, on my Snickers and Diet Coke as my afternoon fix. And instead I grabbed like almonds. So it's all about your mindset, but I do. I, I hear people all the time that say, I want to get healthy. I want to make a change. I want to do something different, but they're not willing to change the bad habits that they, that kind of got them there in the first place. So I remember that this morning, like how easy it could have been for me to just be like, nope, I'll, I'll do it later. I'll, I'll make a shake later. I'll start, I'll start that workout on Monday or I'll start that change tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. And it's like, today just started. <laughs> today just started. It could have been so easy. And you guys, I pass one Tim Hortons, one Starbucks and one McDonald's on my way into the office every single morning. Do you know how easy it could have been for me to stop and just be like, I'm just gonna get a combo. I'm gonna drop six bucks, it's easy, but it's not helping me get healthy. It's not fulfilling my goals that I set out for myself. It's not helping my budget because I said that I wanted to save money this year and pay down even more debt than what we did last year. It's not helping me. So now I spend three bucks and 30 seconds and I get the healthiest meal of my day and it helps me to focus. It helps me to be just have more energy and it makes me feel good you know so I am just now getting into the office good morning just now pulling in but I wanted to drop that with you guys this morning because like I said I am always freaking late that's one of my goals for this year is that I'm gonna be on time I'm gonna get my life together and be on time but I know that there's probably a lot of others that are kind of doing the morning scramble with me this morning so to share that with you and to share my tip as to why I started making just this one healthy decision for me and how this has been such a game changer for me and my life and my health for the past four years. Four. Mama D. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a really sweet parking spot because <laughs> I actually, I'm not parking in the back of our parking lot like I normally end up doing because I'm, I'm crazy late. So I'm, there you go. I parked. Car's off. I'm reading the comments. Now, oh, see, we don't have a Wawa here in Columbus, but that gets me every time. Their coffees are really, really good. Mama, I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Oatmeal, hot tea, see? Good choices. Good choices. But y'all, it's all about mindset. And, you know, I'm my morning was kind of crazy. It was a little bananas, but you know what? Like, here I am. I'm parked in the parking lot getting ready to walk in and start my day. And instead of being like the old stuff, and I would have walked in like, today sucks. It's been crazy and my, my life is a hot mess and focusing on all the negative stuff, I now have trained my mindset to sit back and go, number one, woosa, it's gonna be all right. Number two, it's Friday, it's gonna be good. Things may have been crazy, but I made a good decision when I could have made a bad one. And what you'll find is when you check your mindset, then Everything else is going to fall into place, but I'm telling you if you wake up today and it's crazy and it's busy and it's going to be a shitty day and nothing's going to go right for you, 
you're going to be right. But if you check your mind, if you check your decisions, if you check your actions and you start focusing on the good, I promise you good's going to follow. I promise. Just trust me on this. So, but if you want help with your mindset, you guys, I've got my mindset makeover starting Monday. Would love for you to do this with me. We're going to talk about that when mornings are crazy like this, how to switch it because you can do it. And if you are crazy busy like me and you want more info on getting your shake on and ditching the Tim Horton Starbucks, Wawa McDonald's <laughs> fast food breakfast in the morning and doing something good for you, sweet mama, then talk to me and I'll share with you more details, see if this is a good fit. But so I am not even more late, y'all. I'm going to peace out, head into the office. It's an amazing day today. It's Friday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Mwah.